Ah, uh, Red Bud's awesome. I've been coming here as an amateur for the past couple years, and it's a great place. You know, it tracks really cool. The dirt's kind of like riding at my house up at Millville, Minnesota. So, um, lots of lines everywhere. Super soft and loamy, and the lines are constantly changing. And I ended up being six fastest in practice, so it's a good way to start the day. Well, I've, I've only done two races so far, and my second one was my best. So, was able to get in the top ten in the moto there. Uh, got ninth overall. So. It's a good stepping stone. Still think my ability is better than where I'm finishing, but it's just going to take getting more experience, getting stronger, and getting faster. So that's why I'm here. Here we go, heading into turn number one. We've got quite a drag race. Everybody looking for MotorcycleSuperstore.com. Let's see what kind of damage he can do. He's got Han. Looks like a moose scan, and then Jeremy Martin. Yeah, and yeah Jeremy Martin. Here we go, Martin. And the two KTM's moose scan and Roxon on the inside of him as Martin. Battling. Yeah, fighting off Moose Scan's advances. Beats him to the corner. Right now, the KTM teammates are all hooked up behind him. But Spartan, number 77. And they're all going for the leap on the outside. They're going to grab gears. Will Moose Scan go for it? Yes, he does. Roxon follows him. And look at this. Does he, does he take the spot away from Martin? He made up a ton of ground. I think Martin might be able to shut the door. He's on the inside. Oh, that and they're was close. together over the finish line. But look at that. Muscat hanging off the back. The KTM gets the drive. Martin back up the inside. Takes the spot back. Woo, what a battle. Tim Potter, 77's under a barrage of orange. The first one to get him is Muscat, but it looks like Martin battles back. Okay, this is that line. Look where Muscat's at on the inside. Look at that momentum around the outside. Makes it work. How about Adam Sansuillo? Running now to the top six. He's becoming more and more comfortable with this national pace. And as he starts to settle into it, you can see that the number 292 of Adam C. and Cirillo is starting to work on some riders. One of the smallest guys out there. He was one of the first riders today that jumped LaRocco's leap yep. in qualifying practice when the track was really deep and muddy. And you, uh, the fact that he, he doesn't weigh as much as some of the other riders Easier for him to get that bike over that jump, but this is a pretty solid ride for him right here. Bear you my soul and work this look who's coming, fourth place, Jeremy Martin. Moose getting a quick look over his shoulder. Jeremy Martin continues to keep the pressure on. The crowd around the track is starting to rally behind the youngster. Right now, Jeremy Martin wants a piece of that podium. Can Jeremy Martin make a move on Marvin Muskan late moto number one? I am down here and I'm joined by fourth place Jeremy Martin. What an absolutely awesome race for you. You were so close to that third place. It was a tough one though. Yeah, it was a good fight, Marvin. You know, he was really, uh, we had a great battle. I mean, we honestly battled for probably 20 minutes. You know, it was probably decent, not, not spectacular, but, you know, making a few mistakes, uh, dropped back on 11th. Which is, you know, mediocre. I could be way better. Second moto, great start. First lap, I felt like I was riding way better, way more intensity. 338, Zach Osborne battling it out. You got Martin of the 77, since the 292. And look at you see the number 292 runs in the number three spot. And look at what you do when somebody gets close. You throw a big flat rip right in front of their face mask. Since we're looking to run the outside as they head to this big tabletop. Oh, oh goes down in a high-speed section oh. of the track, and Adam C. and Cirillo goes down. Man, oh unlucky break for the 292, and he shakes the cobwebs out, and Adam C. and Cirillo is now back over to the motorcycle. Just smacked my head pretty hard. Um, just saw a little bit of stars, but regrouped, got back on the bike for, you know, a ways down, and actually had probably my best ride of the season so far. So, uh, C. and Cirillo finds himself now in 39th position. So Adam C. and Cirillo, where is he at right now? He's about 39th last time we really spoke about him, uh, but he looks like he's in the thick of uh, a, a couple battles that all been in front of him. Close your eyes. Adam C. and Cirillo checks in at 23 right now. 23 with 16 minutes elapsed here in moto number two. Obviously, it wasn't the result we wanted because I was I was so far back, but we are making progress. Uh, just need a, I need my 
I need more speed. And that's that's what I'm gonna go go to work for for these two weeks. Need more speed. And let's focus back in on this kid, Jeremy Martin on the 77, who is running in the number two spot. Just saw Roxon slip by. This would be the best of his career thus far. Kid works hard, there's no doubt about it. Under pressure from one of the more experienced riders out here, Marvin Muscan. He is, and he's doing pretty good. Yeah. He's being able to keep him behind him the whole time. He's this is the up. battle for the podium right here. Got to give it to him. Marvin's tried to make a couple moves to get by him, and hasn't been able to do it. And as you said, that'd be the overall podium, whoever finishes in front of the other guy. Oh, a moose can again is down! And Jeremy Martin has finished up in the number three position. I think that's gonna do it overall with a strong ride in Moto 1, a third in Moto 2. Let's give it up for the 77 high class star racing of Jeremy Martin! Third place finish today overall. You gotta be excited about your performance, and man, what a hard fought second Moto. Yeah, no, it was definitely good. I thought I, Osborne and I were like neck and neck for the whole shot. I hope I got it, um, but I honestly just had a great time out there. I've been riding amateur day here for like the last three, four years, and it's honestly, it was kind of like pinched me when I was lining up with the pro guys today, so it was pretty cool.